Hey guys, um, so, yeah, I'm wearing the same thing as in the last video, it's fine. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna be going through my RISD portfolio now, um, as a graphic design student, um, so you can see what my portfolio looked like, um, as a transfer student, as a student, what they're looking for, um, I talk really in depth about it. I wanted to try to make this video not an hour long, so, um, you can pause the video as I talk about my portfolio. I did a screen capture, so let's get right into it. Alright guys, so um, we're just going to jump right in then. Um, this is my portfolio. This is the first piece I included. Um, it was from my summer at RISD's uh, SIGS brand for identity design class. Um, and we were tasked with rebranding the RISD museum. So this was the final cover of my RISD Museum things, so I felt like this was a good introduction to my portfolio. Um, next is a page from inside the RISD Museum brand manual, which we made. So the first one was the letterpress, but I also wanted to show that I could do digital, that I had digital skills as well. So these were pieces from the RISD Museum that I translated. Um, into graphic signage and then also I included um, my stationery that I made um, for the RISD Museum as a brand. I'm kind of flying through this but um, you can pause. Um, then next I included um, some logo explora explorations because um, I did a lot of exploration when I was thinking about the RISD Museum's new logo that I was designing. Um, so these were a couple of things that I explored using the RISD uh, Photography Lab, um, which also showed that I really utilized all of RISD's ex uh, resources while I was there. Um, while I was there, I also made a typeface based on some of my um, paper cutting designs that I showed previously. So I included that, showing my love for typography and then I went on to make a, a gardening lecture flyer because I felt like the aesthetic of the typeface I created kind of went with that whole theme so this is a hypothetical event but um, I included it and then otherwise this is a photo that I took at MoMA I do a lot of photography as well and it kind of um, works with my uh, graphic design background um, because I really like graphic and high contrast images. Um, so this is one that I took with a kaleidoscope and uh, like I said I talk about it a lot in the comments so if you want to read more then pause the video. Next is a typeface that I created just using pen and ink. It's very beginner phases um, based on the imagery of Wes Anderson and Van Gogh. Next is a collage. I figured I would uh, mix it up and show some of my fine artwork, but this also kind of reminds me of editorial graphic design work. Um, I really liked this. I created it my freshman year during drawing class at San Diego State, and if you want to read about it, you can pause the video here. Um, but I really got into kind of the deeper meaning behind why I included certain imagery and um, how it was intuitive at first but then when it came together the message behind it really started to have a greater effect. Next I included a pencil drawing um, to show my knowledge of anatomy and also my skills in drawing. It's not my best work but I figured it was really it was different you know they see a lot of pencil drawings to show anatomy knowledge, but not only does this show that I know how to draw, but I know how to be expressive with it. Uh, next one is a page from my sketchbook. Um, this shows kind of how I, I work things out in my head. It's kind of like journaling, but um, in a graphic design manner. Um, I do a lot of just my own sketching. Uh, before any of my projects as well so this looks like a beginning phases project um, so I included it because it shows my thought process my creativity and my contemplation process 
of real life events. Um, next is a project that I did in 3D design at San Diego State um, called Light in the Red Woods. It was a lamp project, so this was the lamp that I created. We um, were tasked with creating um, different light problems to fix. So I, mine was, how do I create diffused red light without a colored light bulb? So re you can read about it below. Um, this is it from a larger scale. And I really got um, really expressive with my writing on these, which is important because you want to show how you think and your creativity, not only just presenting work because, yeah, they can infer what they want, but you want to really show your personality. Um, this is another drawing example I included. This is a larger um, charcoal drawing. Um, it's a still life, different from the other person drawing, um, showing my skills, but also um, showing that I have in-class experience in those things. Um, next is a self-portrait collage style painting I did um, based on a self-portrait of myself. And um, I really talked about my process in detail below, so you can pause and read about that. I won't read it all to you, but um, basically I painted pieces of paper, cut them out, glued them to add texture and dimension to this piece instead of just painting or instead of just cutting, combining skills. Next is a photography um, collage. It's from a book that I created when I was in high school. Um, it's about layers, uh, kind of juxtaposing the, the layers of buildings with the layers of nature and how those I intertwine with one another. Uh, no pun intended. Uh, next is a cardboard chair project. This was a crazy project um, that I probably would have never done if I was not in three-dimensional design, but I did, so I figured I would showcase it. Um, you can read about it below but I made three chairs um, based on the shape of a pentagon and it was really complex and really showcased my eye for detail and my knowledge of geometry. Uh, this is These are the sketches below. We made scale models, we made real models, we followed all the steps. <laughs> and then lastly, the last piece I included was Air Force One wire shoes. So these were a set of wire shoes that I made based on my Air Force Ones, um, completely to scale. One that's double the size, one that's half the size. Um, and this was a really cool process and also Air Force Ones, especially those exact ones, have significant meaning in my life because they were like the first sneaker that I got that was actually men's shoes and I was like super scared to go into the men's section. So it, it had significance too, which I talked about. Um, all of these projects have significance to show who I am, to show my personality, and all that. So this is my portfolio. Um, feel free to go slower <laughs> through this video, but I just wanted to speed through it. Alright guys, thanks for, uh, for tuning in and watching. Um, let me know what videos you guys want to see next about RISD stuff, about transfer stuff, about being a graphic designer, um, the RISD program, if you want to see like daily vlogs, especially that things are hybrid now, if you want to see how that works out as a graphic design student now with the pandemic going on, um, I'd be happy to do some of those videos, just let me know, give me a thumbs up, <laughs> um, yeah, good stuff, see ya.